Hello, my name is Bridget. Hi, I'm Maddie. We're gonna watch the Black Widow trailer. It just came out this morning and I was like, oh my God, words. I was like, ah, are you excited? I am excited. I'm gonna put a box here so you can watch the trailer as we watch it. So you're not just staring at us. You can also stare at what we're staring at. I am also very excited. Okay, let's just start watching it. Okay. <laughs> Flashbacks, though. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there was a lot of fighting and I appreciated that. It looked really good and I'm excited that we're finally getting a Black Widow movie. Yes. Because she's been in so many movies. We've established everyone else's characters, but her, no, now she's finally getting her time, even though she's already died. Shh. I'm assuming if they're dedicated enough to watch a video of us reacting to this, they've probably seen the other movies. I wonder if they're gonna show her meeting Clint. I feel like that was like a joke that they made in the other movies. Mm. Like Budapest. It's like, are you gonna show Budapest? Budapest? I think they're over in Russia right now. But they could show it. It's out of the timeline anyway. That's true. It's, it's, it's wonky. I liked the fading from her walking to the oh, symbol. Oh, the, the Black Widow symbol? Yes, yeah, Black Widow I really symbol. liked yeah. that. Yeah. And I liked how at the beginning the Marvel logo turned into the Black Widow logo. Did you see that? No. Hold on, let's go back and watch <laughs> Oh. Yes, that's smooth. Also her outfit, solid. Let's legit go fight in this outfit. Don't have to worry about a boob falling out or anything. Yeah, he's actually got clothes on. <laughs> Woo! Imagine being that random dude in the background. Ooh, fun facts. One of my friends, her mom was an extra. Chris Hemsworth literally came up to her in one of the takes and went like this and said, run! Because <laughs> she was an extra. I know! <laughs> That's so cool. I know. I love Christmas. Shout out to you, Mrs. Feldman. <laughs> okay, Black Widow. Refocus. Scarlett Johansson is kind of controversial. However, I appreciate her as Black Widow. And her hair. It's, it's back. Yeah, it's back to red. Just called Black Widow. Are we just going to see her whole life? So when is this? When does she go back home? I think this is like at the beginning. No, because she's going back. Yes, but this is before everything that happened. Oh, there's a lot of everything. When in the timeline do we think this happened? Hold on, let's Google it. When, when does she get arrested? That's in Europe. That's, I think that's Budapest. Is it Budapest? It might be Budapest. It takes place in the two year gap between Captain America Civil War and Infinity War. Oh, so her saying she doesn't last forever is talking about how they all broke up. Yeah, no more family. So then she goes back to her family. Ooh. Interesting. 
Hold on, let's look up what Budapest looks like and see if that's Budapest. That capital building. Oh, the bridge oh, is right there. Oh, it is no, the, bridge. The, bridge. the bridge. It is the bridge. Oh, I that's didn't Budapest. see the middle bridge. Oh, I'm so proud of myself for getting that. <laughs> I mean, I did bring it up earlier to prime your brain. So we could we could get Budapest. When do they make the reference? It's mentioned in Avengers and the Winter Soldier. Well, those are both before this. Because if he's bringing up Budapest, oh, it would have already happened. happened. But if she's in Budapest at any point, they could flash back to it. It's true. Really what I want to know about. I want to know the tea. Just like Budapest all over again, you and I remember Budapest very differently. That's what I want to see. What actually happened in Budapest. Person. Yeah. From like the army that we don't know about. I think that's the antagonist. And then her family. I think the dad's outfit looks a little bit like Captain America. Maybe he's trying to be Captain America. Also, I really like the parallels in the fight scene. The sister. It also gives me very similar vibe to Supernatural. Well, the like beginning of Supernatural, if you even watch just the first episode, Sam and Dean fight. He hasn't been home in so long, but then they fight. Oh, I have seen that. And their family just looks so interesting. They look so tough. They're all there ready to fight. <laughs> she looks happy. I know. What is this? She, like, is never happy. What is this outfit she's wearing? She's wearing white. I don't she's know. She's Black Widow. Well, maybe she's not because it's after Civil War. So Sorry. split up. Yeah, they all split Oh, up. so they signed the peace treaty. Mm -hmm. No, but then she disagreed with the terms. Right. Wasn't she in prison? She's in prison at the beginning. She gets out. Maybe somebody sends her something and is like, hey, here's what's going on in Russia right now. She's go like, I gotta go. And then she dips. Or the dad sends for her, because the dad is getting ready. He's also geared up. Captain America. That's fake Captain America. I wonder if their sisters have matching outfits. They all had matching outfits in the weird school thing. Yeah, but we didn't see her in the matching school. Not yet. It's Gotta true. wait till May. Or the next trailer. You haven't seen Stranger Things, have you? <laughs> no. I've never seen him play in anything else. I haven't seen most of these actors other than Scarlett Johansson <laughs> and all the people that we know from the beginning. I don't know the plot of this movie either. Is there a her origin story? <laughs> Obviously, like, they're fighting just somebody. Like Twenty movies too late. A film about Natasha Romanoff and her quest between the film Civil War and Infinity War. That's when it is. That really doesn't help us, well, huh? It says Robert Downey Jr. is in the cast. Oh yeah, they did say he would appear. Maybe he visits her in prison. Maybe he's the one who gets her oh, out of maybe prison. Maybe he gets her. Oh, that. Ooh. Yeah. Remember that I said this could be his last appearance. It was like her first appearance was in his movie. Aww. Yeah. Oh. Really what they're going for at all times. Look at that poster too. It reminds me of the Deadpool poster. They have similar vibes. Yes. She's ready to battle against whoever she might be battling. I'm voting it's the people from the school. Somebody grew up and instead of being a vigilante like she was, their Russian spy career path took them in a different direction. Maybe they both went to the school and they hated each other. And now she's gonna get revenge for doing something. It seems like the whole it seems like the whole family is involved in this. It's not just her. Mm -hmm. Family against another family. Like against the Russian government. I don't know. The entirety of the Russian government. <laughs> <laughs> she had some kind of training and I feel like someone else had the same training. They're gonna fight. Conflict. Yes. Parallels. Yeah. Foil you know characters. you gotta make the villain and the hero the same person with different paths. What we learned in our screenwriting class. It's true. So they're gonna put that in depth. Okay, I think that's what's gonna happen. We planned out the whole movie already. Let's write the screen. <laughs> We're ready. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. So thank you so much for watching. I'm hyped for this movie. I'm excited. I just keep staring at it. Well, see you all later. Bye. Bye.